The initial nine minutes of the princess is simply Joey Ruler killing each man who holds her up. However at that point we examine what's really happening. The Lord, Sovereign, Alex Reed, their more youthful little girl Violet, Caitlin Rose Downey, and everybody in the fortification has been caught by Julius and his military. It's anything but an irregular foe. He knows the ruler and the Lord knows him as we see him letting Julius that know he doing is off base and he ought to have been taking notes from his dad who was a negotiator. As he castigates them, Violet uncovers her justification for the assault, Julius needs to wed the princess and become the new ruler. Julius is likewise a misanthrope and a bigot since he thinks the Lord has upset the regular request of things by noticing the terrible way of behaving of his girls and inviting outsiders. In a flashback succession, we see Julius persuading the Lord that since he has no child, he has no beneficiary of the high position. So he ought to wed her senior little girl and proceed with the genealogical record. A wedding service occurred where Julius expressed gratitude toward the Lord for providing him with the obligation of turning into the genuine head of the realm. Be that as it may, when he moved toward the princess and put the ring on her finger, she dismissed him and left the wedding function. As per Ling, Veronica and Geo, Julius went after the palace around evening time, realizing beyond any doubt that the warriors wouldn't be prepared, and savagely killed everybody, then locked the princess away with the arrangement to keep her there until the wedding service. What's more, when he understands that the princess will not consent to the marriage, he reports that he will wed Violet all things considered since she won't set up a very remarkable battle. I think this is the primary inquiry at the forefront of everybody's thoughts subsequent to seeing the prince's whole family powerless while she kills Trick's left, right in focus. The response lies in a flashback succession that is set off when the princess accesses her sword concealed in her room. We see her preparation with Ling in a distant region of the woodland, who helps her to battle from the heart. They are joined by Kai. Christopher Kamiyasu, who is one of the Lord's consultants, and Ling's uncle, who prepared her to turn into the champion she is at this moment. Furthermore, Ling lets the princess know that she needs to battle them both to demonstrate that her preparation meaningfully affects her. At the point when she figures out how to cripple the two, she gets her mythical beast grip sword. Before long, she hears her dad and mom looking at wedding her off to Julius in light of the fact that he is a regarded ruler who can re-establish the realm standing. Her mom goes against this, seeing that Julius scarcely knows the young lady. The Sovereign says that she is to be faulted for the princess defiant nature since when she found her preparation with Ling quite early on, she permitted it on one condition, the Lord ought to be completely unaware of it. Furthermore, she was correct. Since when the ruler finds out, he has a misanthropic tantrum to legitimize his choice to allow his girl to lay down with Julius to keep her from entering the conflict and re-establishing the greatness of the realm. After barely getting away from Julio's grasp, Ling, Violet, and the princess rejoin in the palace's arsenal to get ready for the despot and his followers. In the meantime, Julius accumulates everybody in the palace lobby, trusting the princess will show up when she sees that he is going to kill her mom and father. What's more, she, alongside Ling. As Julia is diverted, Violet attempts to free Kai and give him the blade also. Yet, Julius finds her, takes her to the special stepped area, and powers the minister to wed them both. As Ling enters the yard, Kai advises everybody to go after the other watches and end Julio's arrangements to wed one of the little girls. The princess takes on Moira and Ling battles Juliet. While the princess figures out how to kill Moira with her own whip, Ling gets a fierce blow from Julio that debilitates her. Kai hauls Ling away and the princess at last battles Julia. He pushes her to the brink of collapse. Also, when all trust appears to be genuinely lost, the princess sees an amazing chance to slit Julio's jugular while he's delighting in his splendor, and takes her. Julio's head tumbles to the ground, which is an incredible mix of reasonable and special visualizations. The ruler takes his crown back. He advises the group to ring the sanctuary chimes until late on the grounds that the main beneficiary of the realm has been conceived. He knights the princess since he grasps her value and concedes how wrong he was about her. The princess rises and observes Ling's endurance, introducing another period for the realm.